Back in September, the Ravens won an instant classic in their first matchup against the Browns. Can Cleveland get revenge? The answer comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The dog pound in full roar as their Browns emerge from their tunnel. And they're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we've got a, a real clash of styles about set to unfold before us in this one, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, one sideline, you're looking at the number one rushing offense in the league, and right across from them, you're looking at the number one passing offense in the league. So how does that relate to this one? Both defenses have tough tasks. One of them got to stuff the run. The other one, they're going to be racing around trying to fill up the passing lane. Let's see if either one can get an advantage. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They go play action here on first down. Steps away. Well, he's going to take a shot right away. But that's caught at the 25. They're all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. But sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And we knew that this offense was going to try and put pressure on the secondary. That was something they talked about with us. They knew that they had an advantage, pressed it, and there you go. Big play for a touchdown on their very... The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drive is exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful. Of it. It's caught inside the 25. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, 75 yards. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. This offense ready to head back out there as they'll take over with a little over a minute to play in this first quarter. Now a play fake here on first down. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. These two teams met in Baltimore. You might remember earlier in the year with the Ravens winning that game. So they'll be looking for the win here in Cleveland to complete the season sweep. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Going deep here for Watkins. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 75 yards. And the Ravens have broken the tie. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. 
And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens are able to show off their quick strike ability. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is into the end zone. And the touchdown record is now all his. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought... And got his man complete! And in for the Ravens touchdown! Sammy Watkins... Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens are able... This offense has been humming right along. They've been scoring a lot of points here in the first half. We'll see if they can add more to their total. Flushed out right. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And this one nearly picked off. Kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, you got got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. Touchdown! Hollywood, Marquise Brown on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Ravens are able to show off their quick strike ability. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flushed from the pocket, a lot of times you see him, eyes will drop, ball again. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now, we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? But everything is working for them. Every move they make works. It clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. Second and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and ten. Credit that breakup to Greedy Williams. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Right back to Brown. This time he's got it. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. 
Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Grady Williams picks it off. And the Browns are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense. This offense has been humming right along. They've been scoring a lot of points here in the first half. We'll see if they can add more to their total. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Thus far, they haven't been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. On the move to his left. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he is into the end zone for a bolt. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's going to let it go again. This is caught inside the 15. Devin DuVernay, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Ravens are able to widen their lead here in this first half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe. In the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can see and this is, oh my goodness, he put it in one-handed. And in for the Ravens, touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 75 yards. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. Yeah, this is a guy who runs with such balance and control. I mean, he went through that early. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On play action, they'll throw. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. The 40. Pass the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. As a touchdown. As a touchdown. Rashad Bateman, 88 yards. And the Ravens continue to pour it on. Well, like so many wide receivers, he is a threat with the ball in his hands, and he's able to do his damage here after the catch. And talk about a quick answer. This looked like a missed assignment. You'd think someone would be able to rein him in after he makes this catch, but he's so slippery in the open field, he's able to take it all the way to the end zone. And the next-gen stats show us the tale of how much yardage he was able to tack on after the catch. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? It's caught inside the 24 line. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Sammy Watkins. 75 yards. And the Ravens get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. 
Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man, one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time on the catch and run. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. A collegiate star here in the Buckeye State. It's J.K. Dobbins. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So this offense will head back out there already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Buying time to his left. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get high. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here comes Dobbins on the toss right. It's a first down and more for Dobbins. And he will be taken down, but not before he gets this to the Browns' 11. A big play there out of the running game. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Right back to Dobbins on first. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. The tackle there by John Johnson. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Rolling to his left. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. They're gonna look to throw out to his left. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, they mentioned this week, Charles, they had a couple kinks on offense that they wanted to fix. I would say they're pretty well fixed. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I mean, just about everything they've run has been successful in this one. And if I'm the defensive coordinator, I'm done with this, right? I have no answers for anything. In fact, I probably send a note to the clock operator, let it run. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. 
And this one has gone pretty well to form. They've come in, had little problem thus far, and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth. That one looks like he'll throw here. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. And from where we said, if you had told me that that ball was somehow going to get from point A to point B, I would have told you no way. I mean, that was an absolute king. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Baltimore, they get win number 10 on the year as they move to 10-1. and one. And they will head home next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for the Browns, their luck may have run out as they fall to 4-7 and seven now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against Jacksonville.